Welcome to day two, Breakfast with Bob from Dotev Challenge Roth, powered by HEP. My name is Bob Babber, brought to you by Master Spars, S Fuels Go Longer, Hoka, Let's Fly, Form Smarts and Goggles, New Sports, the original triathlon brand, Premium Plus Sports, and our Challenge Athletes Foundation, and of course, our accordion player, Rainer. Let's hear it for <laughs> Rainer. Yeah. <laughs> our Amazing. next guest. <laughs> Two-time Ironman World <laughs> Champion, 2021 <laughs> Challenge Roth Champion, Mr. Patrick Lange. How you doing, bud? I'm good. Like, I mean, that's 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 pretty that's pretty, pretty fun, awesome. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's how I like it. I mean, yes. I live in Austria. That's that's. Um, we listen to that all the time. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, winning here in Germany had to be pretty amazing. Yeah, winning here in Ross uh, is just uh, mind blowing. Like um, coming back out of the um, pandemic in '21 and um, entering this stadium, um, obviously with a little bit less um, spectators than usual, right. but still was um, uh, amazing and made me fell in love with this race. Yes. Um, so I think uh, the tradition of the race, um, the love of Familie Weishöfer that goes into it, um, is just amazing and yes. makes this race for me one of the greatest races um on this planet yes and so uh, makes me come back all the time does this course suit you yes it does um i mean obviously um i was second here last year yep. uh, i won it so it suits me and um it also uh proved that i that i'm able to win races big races in germany because that was a little like uh, uh, yeah, people were saying, no, oh, no, yeah, he won yeah. in Hawaii, but uh, can't win here. Exactly, uh, not good in Frankfurt, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, no, I have a good relationship to this race. The course suits me. Um, yeah, it's 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 all set. I think yeah. very cool. So 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 far this year, second in Crouchkow mm. and fifth in uh, Grand Canaria. Yeah. So, but was your off season? Did, were you healthy? Were you able to do the training you wanted to do? Because you've had so many different bouts with with COVID. And it's, been, uh, yeah. it's been you've <laughs> it's been a tough couple of years. Oh yeah, it was like uh, I I was um, uh, infected with COVID two times. Uh, yeah, but I always bounce back stronger. Uh, to be honest, like yes. uh, it always took some time to get back to um, healthy and and full shape. And um, those two results uh, from this year, um, obviously not the positions that yes. I that I wanted. Of course, I always race uh, for the win, but um, it gave good insights. Um, so uh, we we know that the 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 the, the, the year that uh, the training that we're on it uh, right. is working. And for me, I see myself as a long course specialist and. Um, I want to be uh, yeah, measured also with the results that I produce in long course racing. Um, yeah, not with, uh, with 70 7 points 7 3. racing, yeah. But those races help you, right? Those, those As, speed. In the build up, yeah. yeah in the uh, build absolutely. up. So you use yeah. those races as more stepping stones towards absolutely. Challenge Roth or Ironman. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. And so I was um, happy with the race. Uh, unfortunately, had to. Um, drop out or not drop out um, uh, uh, cancel the race in Ibiza right. uh, the PTO race yes. I wanted to uh, be there as well but um, yeah uh, had a little uh, cold so decided not to race and um, still yeah, I think um, my winter build up was pretty yes. pretty good <coughs> pretty solid <coughs> I had this super late race in end of November right. in Israel um, <laughs> which was unbelievable. Which was really cool. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> two, all you have to do is say to somebody, 2.30.31. Yeah, you right. ran a 2.30.31 marathon off the bike. And it's not like you didn't have to run that fast. You did have to run that fast I to had, win the race. Yes, right? absolutely. Like How far this, back were, this, were you off the bike? Uh, ooh, I have to look it up. Yes. I think like about eight minutes. Yes. And and Daniel? Um, no, it was Robert Kalin actually leading, yeah. oh, um, and then, Daniel, and then yeah. Daniel like seven minutes. Yes, and um, those guys like made me push all the way. <laughs> and <laughs> I had uh, an Italian guy, Gregory Barnaby. Yes, and he was a rookie on on that course. Right. He's, a, he's a strong seventy point three athlete, and yes. he, we knew that he was 
uh, he's a good runner on on the 70.3 yes. course, and he was sticking to my heels for like 20 kilometers, and <laughs> I was like, drove. I didn't know him before, and I sh <laughs> I, I I was running past uh, Bjorn, my coach, and asking him, who is this guy? guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running three <laughs> three twenty per kilometer. I was running as fast as I can for the 15, 18 kilometers. Yes, I was absolutely giving it all, and normally. They I'm go a good away. Runner. Yeah, they go away runner. pretty yes. fast, and yeah. he was sticking to the heels, and you know that little bump here and ah. there, you know. <laughs> just but to let you know, he's still there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then, um, yeah, I just uh, I had to drop the absolute uh, attack bomb at kilometer twenty-five. Yes. Uh, I looked it up in the Garmin data. I was running, um, yeah, th uh, two kilometers yes. at uh, six minutes and thirty pace, uh, so three fifteen. Like oh my almost, God. you know what it is. It's, yes. a, it's a sprint in an Ironman. Yes. So I was, literally was sprinting away because I thought, okay, either we die both now, <laughs> right here, <laughs> or I get away. <laughs> and then uh, as I did that, take, like I had to, uh, um, to to follow Daniel because he was in the lead. Yes. So I was reducing the, the distance to him. And so I had to push again. And it was like an all out sprint yes. um, for for the whole marathon for me and yeah i can i hope i hope that uh, uh, the race scenario here will be yes. kind of the same it, i mean daniel becker is also in the race and yeah, magnus uh, and magnus ben Knut, so and yeah absolutely. you've got a field you've yeah got a so great field here. and you like it. that the better you've got the best really probably the best field of the year with mm. male and female fi fields together absolutely. for a long distance race it is it, it is uh it is uh, the, the 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 secret world championship, uh, as we say, yeah. Yes, it really. So it, really um, is. it is amazing. It's an amazing field, and um, yeah, I always tend to um, to 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 grow and accelerate in these yes. big big fields. So if you look at my Ironman resume, for example, yes, you will see that uh, all my Ironman victories are in championship races. So it was either like North American champion. Yes, yes, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Israel true. was also like, um, uh, what is it? Um, Middle East. Middle East, yeah, Middle yeah, East yeah, yeah. Uh, um, championship race, the world championship titles. It's always in a championship race. So um, yeah, I made myself believe this is a championship race. Well, it's interesting because I think people look at different athletes and go, okay, We've got to get away from Patrick. Mm. We got to we got to outswim him. We got to outride him because if he's anywhere near us, we're dead. So you know the the, the philosophy. You know Absolutely. what you know. Everybody else's battle plan is. Sure. We got to get rid of Patrick. We got to get rid of Patrick. But mm. your cycling has gotten so much better. You're able. To, it's hard for people to get away. So yeah, of course we also knew that and yeah. Um, um, yeah. So uh, I, I also think like um, with the bike strength comes. The, the natural um, thing that people also work with you together. Right. So it's it 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 switched a little bit because also they benefit from it working with me. Yes. You know, it's just maybe maybe they lose one place. Right. Because I will outrun them, but they gain five places because <laughs> if we work together, we pull away yes. from skipper or guys. whatever. Yes. Uh, yeah. ex exactly. So uh, with Israel. Which, I, I, if I'm if I'm Daniel Backegaard and I run a what two thirty six two thirty seven at the end of an Ironman <laughs> and I lose, that's unbelievable. Did you guys chat after that race? Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> we're mates, and uh, he absolutely he's a good guy. He is absolutely he uh, he's a machine in the race, and he is a super nice guy off off uh, um, the race, and. Um, I c we had a chat after the race and He's he like was like, he, what didn't, are you doing? he didn't even see me in the finish line because he was so giving it all, everything. Right. And uh, I think he puked and he had all this, <laughs> 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 he, he gave 110% and um, no, it's, uh, it was a great, great, great battle. And uh, I think a race for me that I will look back for a long Forever. time and, right. and think, wow, that was, that was. For you to wow. come from that far back and run yeah. a. 230 and have to run a 230 to win. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's on a legit good. course to be fair. Oh, like, you know what? That's I, the other I posted thing. on Strava straight away yeah. because I thought, okay, everybody will say, oh no, it's not legit. But so I posted it on Strava to be yes. sure that everyone sees that it's a 42 well, kilometer. Well, not, not course. just a 42 kilometer, but it was not an easy run course. No, not really. Not really. Uh, the <laughs> next, the next night after that race, we were at the uh, Sailfish Night of Champions. Oh yeah. Yeah. And Sebastian was there, and Sebastian, I said, okay. Tell me, he goes that 
I, I don't believe what Patrick just did. He's, he was like that. 230 marathon off that bike ride. It's not a not an easy bike ride. The run is yeah. a brutal run. Not brutal, but a hard, hard run yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? And the weather was crap. <laughs> yeah. Like crap all day long. Was it pouring rain? And well, yeah, it was on off all the time. Like yes. pouring rain and obviously the, the streets in Israel, they're not used to rain. So we no. had like kind of flooding. <laughs> flooding, puddles, <laughs> And then we had rivers. like, uh, yeah, like gravel parts of the run so your your shoes are all wet yeah but i think also the shoes are made a like a little different because yes. uh it was actually the last race in ironman where we can use the five centimeter shoes ah. and we have done a lot of testing in the lab so they are like one and a half two se seconds so? yeah i know it yes yeah yeah, uh, from, yeah because we we tested it at the adidas lab and uh, we had put some some research in right. because obviously we also wanted to know how big of a difference it is yes. and the the, the 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 big difference also comes or the big benefit comes the more fatigued you are right so then the shoe starts they help so you actually the, the in an Ironman distance it's really helpful yeah so when you broke the Ironman course record mm. <laughs> if you had the shoes then how fast do you think you would have been running oh my god uh, yeah it's fascinating because I look at at Chrissy Wellington's time from uh, 2011 when she went 8, 18, 13 here. Mm. That's mm. 12 years ago. Mm. And that still stands mm -hmm. with the shoes they were wearing back then, yeah. the bikes they were riding back mm. then. Th there's a huge, this last decade has been a huge change in technology, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, uh, we. I don't know how many hours in the wind tunnel I spent, how many hours in the lab testing yes. different setups and etc. Um, obviously, the the, pro, the 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 level of professionalism uh, with Chrissy and right. Jan, who is holding the, yes. the other record, uh, was amazing. And um, uh, yeah, no, in the last years, they they are they are definitely technology developed and um, uh, was yeah coming along in into a period of time where also the uh the level of competition also rose because we have much deeper fields yes in both women and men yes and uh we have those young generation who are really coming in the pushing Norwegians, hard and the danish and yes. yeah so from a german perspective so you think about ironman world championship and really from starting with sebi and mm. then to jan and then yourself you guys mm. dominated from what 2014 to yeah. 2019, exactly in in, in in Kona and World Championship, who are the next great German athletes? Oh, that's a that's a tough question. Yeah. Um, I I think uh, my teammate Frederick Funk is uh, is a man to watch uh, yes. for the future. We also have some um, really uh, uh, talented some good ITU, uh, athletes. ITU athletes. Yeah, Hen Henry Graf. Um, oh. uh, also. Um, I think we have a lot of potential um, yes. in, in the German um, Federation right now. Um, but I also know it's uh, it's like uh, it's big footsteps uh, that they need <laughs> to step up. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't really make it easy because obviously they will be measured with, with this success. Absolutely. And I hope it doesn't get into their mind. So I just can um, uh, yeah uh, um, uh, uh, say to them that they focus on that sales right. and do their thing and and then naturally comes right. uh, uh, the, the success on its on its own is that important to you to be to to be that person to to help that next generation the next yes. generation of germans to to find their to reach their uh, their their where they want to go down the line uh, not necessarily just germans uh, i you i want to be that role model for travel. absolutely like yes. that's that's uh, I felt over the last uh, couple of years and um, uh, also I had, obviously we, we talked about it, I had some uh, hard times also uh, in the last couple of years and that made me uh, rethink my position uh, in, in the sport yeah. and what, uh, why am I doing it and what what does it mean to me? And Because um, it can be a very selfish sport. You yeah, go out, you absolutely. swim, you bike, you run, and if you're not doing well, you're going, what's the purpose of this? Why yeah. am I spending six, seven, eight hours a day absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> going in circles? Yeah, I mean, literally, like as a professional, you're yes. uh, 365 days, 24-7. Yes. Uh, uh, um, you're just thinking about triathlon. And 
uh, it gives me a lot of power to to uh, positively influence uh, next generation. Yes. Um, I keep all the little pictures that uh, kids draw me and send to my management. It's like gives me a lot of energy. Yes. And um, it gives me the feeling to. Yeah, to leave behind a good, um, good um, legacy. example. And, uh, yeah, well, legacy. you certainly have. You've created <laughs> a, a pretty amazing legacy from a guy who was really almost out of the sport. Absolutely. Right? And you probably draw on that. The fact that there was a point there where the sport was sort of over for me. Yeah. And then you had that great performance, I think, Texas. And that Absolutely. changed everything. 2016. 2016. Wow. So it's not so that long ago. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like a long yeah, time for ago. Me, like, for me, for you, maybe. For me, no. Life, I don't no, know. No, that's, 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 like, that's like, like a pimple. That's nothing. <laughs> 16 till now, it's like, what? Yeah, seven <laughs> years. Here, that's like nothing. For your yes. 70 years in the sport. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 7,000 years in 10, the sport. 000. I love it. No, 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 no. It's great. So the goal is you want to be what we just we just reenacted. We practiced. Yeah, we practiced you yeah. coming across yeah. here and winning for the second time Absolutely. here at Challenge Raw. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be that would be amazing. Um, uh, it's yeah, this race means so much to me, um, and it would mean the world to me to to uh, get this feeling with uh, a full stadium with uh, all this yes. this this amazing crowd here. I probably you talked about it like. A thousand times already in in it's this the show. Best. Yeah, uh, it is. It is simply the best. Like, yes, I always tell people, especially from the U.S., come to Ross and experience it because it's it's it is mind blowing. Like, it's unbelievable. Uh, going up Solar Hill or entering the stadium, uh, they will cheer forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's and amazing. it's from the first person till the last person comes absolutely. across. Absolutely. So it. yeah, absolutely uh, a race to love. Patrick, thank you for always being so generous with your time. Love what you bring to the sport and your, your personality. Just, it, I always enjoy chatting with you. <laughs> Thanks. Same here. <laughs> Patrick Lange has been our guest. Everybody again, we are here at Challenge Roth. Hold on. We'll be right back. <laughs>